Good morning. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I cook a pork delicious pork butt to perfection every time. We're going to go through details, cooking it on the offset smoker over here, to the prep, to the full cook, and then the key points at the end that people forget all the time. So I want to show you today. It's a beautiful morning here. The sun is coming up. We're going to get started and light up this Iron Oaks 115 gallon offset smoker. If you've watched my videos to now, you know that I use Jealous Devil charcoal. You got to check out the videos, the tests I do between Jealous Devil charcoal and the rest of the charcoal companies out there. You'll understand why I use Jealous Devil. All right, let's get it started up here. Woo, that clean pull. Boom. I like to load up. A nice bed of lump charcoal in my offset smoker. This is what I mean by a nice bed of coals. Just enough in there to get a nice base. All right, we're going to fire up this Iron Oaks offset smoker with some uh, post oak and the Jealous Devil lump charcoal. So I like to come in with a couple small twigs first because they're gonna light faster. And then stack on top a couple big pieces. Well, this Jealous Devil charcoal, you don't need a whole lot of wood initially to, to just uh, create that nice bed of coals. Today, we're gonna use our grill gun, grill blazer grill gun to light it up. Super love this, check it out. Uh, there will there'll be a link in this video uh, and on my website where you can get this gun. It's freaking amazing. I use it all the time. Turn it on. Fire it up. Control. Super easy. Other lump charcoal would be popping right now, right? This ain't popping. Boom. That fire should be getting going. We're going to set this up and we're going to take you over to the pork butt. All right, now that we got the offset smoker fired up, we're going to wait and let it uh, settle in. Meanwhile, we'll start prepping this pork butt. I like to use gloves. Some people don't. Hey, I like to keep clean, make, make cleanup easier. I don't want to keep washing my hands left and right. Clean space project, the gloves I use. All right. Let's talk about the pork butt, okay? What I'm looking for is that marbling. I don't know if you see this marbling. You can look in this. This is the money muscle here. You can see that in the packaging. This one doesn't have much of a fat cap. I really don't care. I really can care more about the intermuscular fat. And this one's got some beautiful intermuscular fat. So if it did have a big fat cap here, I might trim it down a little bit. I might score it. But for this one, I'm not going to do anything with it. It's pretty cleaned up as you can see not a whole lot to worry about so we're going to keep it simple and easy with this you can go binder no binder it's up to you <clears throat> uh, i go back and forth but really you let it sweat in you don't need to worry about it uh, my pork and rub i developed this more for pork but it's taken multiple wards on chicken it goes great on seafood the raw cane sugars in this are going to really allow the seasoning to meld and caramelize on the outside and just give you that beautiful bark. It's not red like a lot of pork rubs, but it's the, uh, the raw cane sugar that really makes a difference. All right, so we're going to hit this up on all sides. Nice and easy. Such a beautiful morning. I don't know if y'all see the views behind me absolutely beautiful so we're going to show you what we're going to do with this pork butt we're just going to let it season all sides like i said and then we're going to let it sweat in the whole time frame i'm not seasoning this the night before honestly if you've got a really good seasoning you don't have nothing to worry about you can inject or not inject but for what we're going to do and how we're going to cook it there's really no need. You'll see the difference, the results at the end. They will speak for themselves. 
All right, finish back up on top, give it a nice coat. And we're just gonna allow this to sweat in, right? We're gonna allow this rub to just sweat in. It's gonna take us another 20, 30 minutes to get this dialed in exactly the way we want it. You can already see, I don't see much smoke coming out of there. That's a good sign. So we'll be able to close this down and get this up to temp really soon. Uh, stay tuned, we're gonna put this pork butt on and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna cook it. Now what you're looking for is a nice self-contained fire. I want that smoke to die off too. Uh, it's still not burned down exactly the way I want it. So once that smoke starts to die down and we've got a good bed of coals, I will close that lid down uh, just with a little gap of air just so there's some in inlet going into it. And then we'll dial the temperatures into what we're looking for. All right, we got what we're looking for. There's a true self-contained fire. There's a great bed of coals. There's no more smoke coming out. It's real faint. So we're gonna shut her down, get this bad boy up to temperatures. You also notice that I set up some of our wood on top. This is called my heating plate right here, this heating plate. I use that to warm the, the logs that I'm gonna be putting in on each cook. We're gonna close this down. I have a little gap system here like this. I don't want to close it all the way. I'll usually like two gaps right there. We're going to shut her down. Get this bad boy up to temp. Oh yeah. As you can see, the pork butt, the seasoning is all sweated in. Now we're ready to put it on the smoker. All right, we got the smoker right where we want it, sitting at 250 degrees, all dialed in. Ready to put that pork butt on. We're gonna put we're gonna put her on the bottom rack here. I've got some other stuff I plan on cooking. All right, let's close her down. All right, now that we got the pork butt on, it's time to clean up. Well, it's a mess, right? Cutting board, knife, rub bottle, right? Well, don't worry, Jealous Devil's got your back. Relax Super Towels. These things, if you haven't seen them, they're absolutely freaking incredible. All right, look at these Super Towels, right? So, <clears throat> they're six times larger than the normal wipes. They're all natural, uh, tea tree, ginger, and lemon. They've got a perforated edges, so you can just tear it apart easily, all right? Watch this. We're going to clean up this cutting board. Boom. Cutting board clean. All right. Let's use the other one here to clean off this table. Boom, table cleaned off. Clean off the bottle. Clean off the knife. And guess what? You can even use them on yourself. See, I got stuff on my hands, my arms. All right, we're gonna clean this off right here. These are so refreshing too. absolute game changer anywhere else all right got that cleaned right boom you can even use them on your face so refreshing and cool but yeah cleanups are easy relax jealous double relax super towels all right we're gonna get back to this cook monitor the smoker and check back in and see what we do next. All right, we're about two and a half hours in on the cook. She's running steady at 250 degrees. I've only opened it up once and that's to put in some uh, pork short ribs, Asian style pork short ribs that I'm working on. Got multiple cooks going on today. 
So I'll take you in close and let you see what the pork butt looks like right now. As you can see, the bark is starting to set on it right now. Looking good. Still not ready to wrap. That's the pork short ribs that I'm working on too. Stay tuned for the video on that. Anyways, we'll close her down and let her continue to cook for a little bit longer. All right, it's been about four and a half hours here. I think our bark is set nice. We're gonna pull out the pork butt and see what it looks like here. Oh, as you can see here, beautiful bark here, beautiful color. This is right where I want it before I go ahead and wrap it up. So we're gonna take you over here. All right, we're gonna put it in this pan here. Fits like a glove. All right, we're gonna take a can of pineapple juice. I used to use apple juice, but now I'm a big pineapple juice fan when it comes to just pour this right over there. It's gonna add some extra juice and sweetness to it in there. All right, we're gonna cover it up. back on the smoker for about three to four hours. All right, we'll check on in about three hours, three to four hours. All right, it's been about three hours since we put it back on here. We're gonna check it and see where we're at. We're looking for a probe tender. So we're gonna take it out here. Open it up. I don't know if you can see it right there. Oh yeah, like right, like butter. That's perfect, like around 205, 206. See how it comes in with no resistance? That's perfect right there. All right, we're gonna cover it back up. We're gonna let it rest for one hour before we shred this bad boy and show you what I make. All right, the pork shoulder is nice and rested. Now it's time to shred it. I like to bring it down to about 150 degrees internal temperature before I actually shred it. So this is how I shred. I put on cotton gloves and then nitro gloves. We'll get this bad boy out right here. You can see it here. See that bone pull right out? Nice and clean here. Boom. Then we just shred it with our hands. See how easy that is? That just disintegrated, right? Just like that. You can feel for the fatty pieces like this, right? I put those out. So I'll go through this with my hands and pick it just like this, right? And then pull out the little fatty pieces, right? There's a bunch right there. Boom. All right. Now I'm going to show you something that oftentimes gets forgotten when it comes to cooking pork butts. All right. I'm going to take this glove off right here. All right. The key to making really good pork butt to make it taste really well is to re-season it when you shred it. Check that out. We're gonna take our pork and rub. Boom. We're gonna season it up again. Nice and liberal right here. Mix it up. Like so. It's so juicy. All right. Boom. I got a toasted bun. Let's slide this over right here. We got a toasted bun here. Take a good bit of that pork, like so. I like to top it off with our original barbecue sauce. You can put some pickles on there, some slaw on there, whatever you want. We have a spicy sauce and an Asian bang sauce also. Well, 
The only thing left is to give this bad boy a try. I appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. See what I do next. Let's bite, bite into this pork sandwich. Mmm. Mmm. That's a really good sandwich. I hope you give it a try. Oh, yeah.